I think when you put your hand in the hand of God, it's God that leads you. And uh, what else can we expect to ask for? Um, I've tried to let the beloved lead me as far as I can. Of course, I pop up in that equation at times. <laughs> and I've even had a shouting match with him. <laughs> Which I can tell you. I mean, it's stupid trying to take on the beloved because you can't win. All you're doing is fighting yourself. I've got a phone call from a young man who says his brother has got terminal cancer and um, he's in an hospice. They, he was in the hospital, they opened him up and just closed him up because the cancer was everywhere. So they put him in the hospice. So they phoned me up and they said, would I see him? I said, of course I would. They said, there's only one problem. He's a bishop of the old Roman Catholic Church, or even higher than a bishop, I think. I said, well, that doesn't make any difference to me. Uh, come along. So he, he came along with, with three of his brothers. It was really strange the way they lived. They had this big house and they lived three brothers, there's four or five brothers all told, and they all slept in the same bedroom. Very strange. But anyway, he was a very nice man. And um, he said to me, look, they've given me two weeks to live but I need 18 months to get my house in order. So I worked on him and I said, God has given you 18 months. Well, yeah, I don't know what they thought of that, but they go back to the hospice that, that morning. And um, the next day he felt really good. So they asked for another examination went back to the hospital. Because of who he was, they did it straight away. And all the cancer had gone. All gone. So he was so happy that he wanted to work with me. So he'd come and work with me now and again. 